Okay, guys, in this video, I'm going to highlight uh, both uh, Xander Shoffley, who's on the top, and Tiger Woods on the bottom now. Um, again, what I'm going to focus on, and as we look at Xander at the top, okay, uh, top video, what we're going to see is because we're at a, we're on the rear left view of Xander, uh, a swing, you're going to see how the club really, really tracks where, how the club really maintains its space off the ball, and how as he passes parallel, how he what? How he creates width. Okay, there's the width he's creating. So what we want to look at is this area right in here, okay, which is very important because it sets the entire backswing. Okay, and I'll mention that in a minute. Now, let's come down here to Tiger. Now, as Tiger, as he begins his swing, okay, as he begins to pass parallel, you see basically it's the same position. The arms are extended out on the plane. You see how it how extended the arms are here okay and so what happens is when you're able to create resistance now when, when you think of resistance in the golf swing you know traditionally you would think you know the resistance between your shoulders and your hips or the resistance to the ground or whatever but the key to the golf swing is we have to have resistance between our body our core okay which is where let me erase this here our core which is here okay and you see xander's core here you see tiger's core right here we got to have the resistance between our our, our the, the core of our body and our arms moving out okay and around okay the swing plane okay that's where the resistance is so the resistance is right in here see the resistance is right in here because what happens is if the body doesn't move with the club and your body stays centered, the arms have to max out on the plane. They have to get to a limit to where they can't move out anymore and they have to start moving where? They have to start moving up and around. So it's this moving up and around the body here. Okay, you see, see, it's like you see Tiger down here. As his, as his arms max out because his body stays home, now his arms, wrists, and hands, and shoulders have to move up and around the plane on their own. Tiger's not thinking where his right elbow is. He's not thinking, you know, where his rear shoulder is. He's not thinking, you know, how his wrists are hinging because the wrists have to hinge on the resistance of the plane, just like Xander at the top. And let me clear this out here. Just like Xander at the top, as he's maintaining space and creating with body staying home, the arms max out and everything has to set on its own. The wrists have to hinge on their own. You can see how the wrist at Xander at the top swing here, Xander's wrist have to hinge on their own because why? The, the arms and wrists are maxing out and they have to hinge. Just like Tiger down here, they have to hinge. And once we understand that principle in the golf swing, then we can take tons and tons of swing thoughts out of our swing. Okay, very important point. SWR, space, width, and resistance. Okay, space happens on its own. The width and the resistance... As the, as the arms pass parallel, the width and resistance go hand in hand, okay? As the arms pass parallel, as the club shaft pass parallel, the resistance and the width, okay, happen hand in hand. Okay, hope that helps. Talk to you soon.